She shot 10 times in the 60s in final rounds this year, including a couple of 66s, one of those last week in Chinese Taipei. If she does that tomorrow, she'll be pretty hard to beat. And it all got off to a flying start. As Minji said, what she did was not only get a lot of birdies on a card, but keep the bogeys off the card. Oh, she did that to a brilliant effect. And this, the 13th hole, We've laboured the point about being below the hole, and this is the hole you have to do that, and this was one of the best today. It was an easy birdie part for Minji Lee to keep her command of this tournament going. And then, in a difficult stretch of holes, she came to 14, relatively short par four, and you might be thinking birdie at this hole, and when you come up with a shot like that, you're definitely thinking birdie, but it was the one at the following hole that was so important. Most definitely, because it was the hardest hole yesterday, the 15th, but when you hit your irons as close as this, you give yourself so many good looks of a birdie, and she duly capitalised on that. Wow. And then she came to the first of the two closing par fives. This was her second shot at this penultimate hole. And have a look at this. This is just an indicator of everything that she's been doing today. Got the good kick, kicked it up to within eagle range. She missed the eagle putt but made birdie and that would help her to that eight under par tally of 64. She's going to be very hard to beat tomorrow. She knows that winning feeling.